Well, we've been talking about this throughout the show. A group of 11 GOP lawmakers have written a letter demanding parity in dueling investigations that they claim have dissimilar degrees of zealousness. Now, it's pretty obvious the Hillary Clinton server investigation ranked low on the zealousy scale. It hummed around a two, or be passive but look busy. The Russian collusion investigation is markedly much more zealous, with investigators appearing to hum at peak speed of aggrieved aggressiveness. Maybe everyone's just trying to digest their political sour grapes. The left over Hillary's loss and the right over the hot pursuit of the president. But either way, you butter the muffin. One side is melting with hypocrisy and the other is cold as ice. James Comey thought he'd saunter in on his paper horse and save the day by explaining his excellence and duty to bring down the president, which makes him a really great guy. He swears there was no coordination between departments in the Hillary saga. But those love-struck text messages show collusion between the sheets and trying to get Trump beat as morally superior lovebirds Peter Strzok and Lisa Page shot to snuff the Hillary mess and save their jobs and save the world from a Cheeto-faced president. The problem is part of Comey's record is sworn congressional testimony, which shows those contradictions so rich they could buy their own islands. Add to that his post-election tattling on Loretta Lynch and President Obama, not to mention his faulty logic for reopening the Hillary case so late in the game. That has the left fuming and foaming. And now Jim the Wet Sandwich is about as popular as crabs at a porn convention. These lawmakers are looking for evenly metered justice. As it appears, Lynch, Comey, McCabe, and the others opened her blindfold just enough to peep the right outcome. Unfortunately for them, it's gone all wrong, and now we'll have to see if partisan paralysis has damaged these once objective institutions or if whoever is in power gets to make their own rules and whoever is out gets off scot-free.